Hey guys, today it's all about product photography. Now, what we're going to be focusing on is indoor photography that looks like it was taken outdoors. Because whether it's snowing outside and you can't get outside, or it's raining and you can't get outside, or simply you just don't feel like going outside and you want better control of your product photos, then I'm going to show you how to do photos like this indoors. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that exact photo, but I'm going to take pretty much that same setup. I'm going to change the product out though. We'll go behind the scenes and I'll show you how that was basically created. So if that's what you're into, let's get into it. Well, here we are in the studio. I've kind of already selected my props, got it all laid out. As I say, I'm basically going to do the same kind of image that I showed you at the start of this, but I'm going to change it up with some different props. What am I going to use for a prop? I'm going to use a can of 7-Up. Well, actually, a couple of them. I've got here just a piece of homemade wood slapped together to make it look like part of a dock because we're going for that dock with the water scene, whether it's a river or lake. We're going to do that outdoor look. Now, the one thing I am going to interject right now as you notice, I don't have any water type patterning or anything here. If you're buying a pre-made printed background that looks like water, or you're using a monitor that looks like water, I see a lot of this on Instagram that people are using commercial copyrighted material to create their own image with. If you're using it for your own portfolio, that's okay. But if you're trying to create images that you're going to sell and market, that's not okay. It's copyrighted material. So make sure whatever you're using for a background, in my case water, that you actually own that image. And in this case, I own that image of the water. So I have no problem doing composite work with it because I own all the copyrighted material. I just want you aware of that. Okay? So without further ado, you can see I just got a gray wall here and I kind of got a whitish bluish board on the base because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take you into Photoshop and show you how we do that composite to add the water to make it look more real. But right now, we need to set up our dock. So in order to do that, we need to put our prop on set. So like I say, I've got two cans here of 7-Up. Now, I'm going to set one there and I have my old trusty stuff here and it's the uh, sticky tack. Let's get in the office supply section. I just put a little piece on the bottom of the can there as you can kind of see, and that just stops the can from wanting to roll away. Because unfortunately, my wood is a little warped, so the can keeps rolling. That, as you can see, holds it in place perfectly. Now, we need to add in some other props, because we're not just gonna have a couple of cans of pop or whatever, soda, sitting on a dock with nothing else around it. We wanna make it a little bit of a leisure type look. So in that case, we're going to use a book. I've got a book. It's a sunny summer day. We need a pair of sunglasses. So I put my sunglasses here and I've got, this is actually my beach towel. We're going to use just a corner of it poking in on the corner of the image to set up our scene. Like I always say with product photography, don't go overboard with the propping. You don't want to lose focus on what the product is. And in this case, I need to focus on the cans of 7-Up. So that's what we've done. Now, as you can see, kind of just over here, kind of over here, I've got my main light and it's kind of side lighting. I'm gonna show you two versions here. One with a soft box, which is a soft light look, and then I'm gonna use just a bare bulb on my studio strobes to create that hard light look, which is more of that sun-like effect. You can judge which you prefer I'll tell you at the end which I prefer. But anyways, that's how simple this setup is. We just simply need to take a photo, but the problem is with my light there, I've got too much shadowing here. I'm not getting the front of the can lit up properly. I've got a lot of lighting problems going on. So I need to redirect some light back in. How do we do that? I've shown it tons of times in the past. This is simply just a piece of foam core and I'm using a clamp that I use in the studio all the time. It needs to come along, I need to push that over a bit. I need it to come along like this. It'll be out of the camera angle, but it's gonna take the light from there and bounce it back onto our subject. Fantastic. 
But I also have a problem here underneath this can and part of that label. I'm not going to get the light hit it. I could use something like this, and I did try this initially. But what happened was this light source actually became stronger than my main light, and I had a huge glow at the bottom of it. Didn't work. What do I do? I've shown these little reflectors in the past. They are double sided, and I've got a couple of them. Again, I've got the silver, but again, I had that same issue. It was too bright. So, what do we do? I want a little warmer tone, anyways. I did a silver gold like look, and I simply dropped that in the front here to bounce light back into the can. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but it's basically, it just stands up like that, and then my subject is here, and this will bounce light. So, I'm bouncing light from there to here, from there back that way. So, I've got three directional light going on, but these are only fill lights. My main strong light is still over there. These are decreased power, especially when I don't use that blinding silver, right? So, that's all there was to the setup. It's just simply doing that, taking the photo, and boom, there is the soft light look. What do you think of that? Now, let me show you the hard light look. Hey, what do you think of that one? Which do you prefer? I'm going to tell you right now, I honestly prefer the hard light look better. It seems to give more of that natural light look that I was trying to receive, and I'm trying to create that outdoor look. So, that's all there is to creating the photo. It's, it's really simple, a little setup. Now, the only other thing that I did do that I didn't say at this point is I misted the can with a 50% glycerin, 50% water mixed in a little spray bottle, and I spritzed the cans just to give that bit of a sweating look to it so that the drink looks cold and helps sell the fact that this wasn't shot indoors and that the pop is actually cold. So, that was the only other thing that I did, but that's the basic setup. Simple propping. I like the composition. Now, let me get you into Photoshop, and I'll show you how we add the water and sell the image to make it look awesome. So, we're in Photoshop now. I come over to the right-hand side here where the background is, and the first thing I want to do is duplicate that layer. I never want to work on my original. Now, I come over here to the uh, little lasso tool here, and I need to make sure I'm on the add. And then, I just simply want to take out everywhere where I want to put the water. Now, I'm just going to kind of speed this part up for you. Well, there you go. That was the kind of a sped up, and that was really roughly done, let me tell you. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. You can basically hit delete, or you come over here onto the erase tool. Simply just increase your brush, erase all this out, and you're going, but nothing's disappearing. Boom. It is. I just turned off the bottom layer, and there we go. So, that is all cleaned up now, and I've got rid of my background. So, it didn't matter what background I had in there, because we're going to chop it out. Bottom left here is my ocean picture. I just Click, grab, drop, and it's in the scene. Oh, I got to get rid of my uh, little thing here. There we go. And now we need to increase the size. You can see there is a definite difference in the size of the images. Not a big deal. We just stretch it out. Now, on the very top here, I don't like this darker piece. So I'm just going to kind of stretch that piece out a bit. Boom. We're done. Now I just simply need to reverse where these two are in the order on the right hand side here, and now look at that. The water's in behind. Looks awesome. Are we done? No, we're not, because that looks fake. It looks fake because all the water is too much in focus. Down in the bottom right here, it should be a little bit in focus, but back up here should be out. So, what do we do? We always create a duplicate layer, duplicate, then come up here, filter at the top, blur, Gaussian blur, or whichever blur you like, and I'm going to commit it at about 18.1, I think, somewhere around the 18. Yeah, that'll do. And then click OK, and you can see it's quite blurred. Now, what I need to do is shrink this out of the way, come here on my brush tool, and on for the erase, I wanted about oh, 45%. Make my brush as big as I can get it, 
I always kind of do it this way. And there you go. Let me fill the screen and you can see that I'm a little more in focus here at the bottom than I am at the top. That's all there is to selling the image. Now it's just a matter of doing the final color grading to it, but that's how you do a composite. I just wanted to show you how to do the composite. That's it. Compress all this, you flatten your layers, layer, flatten, discard the hidden one at the bottom I didn't need, boom, image done, save it, now I can do my color grading. There you go, a pretty quick and easy setup, not over propped, I think it sells it quite well. Here's the image that I prefer, again, that hard light look. I think that sells the image quite well and shows off my product. So whether it's raining, snowing, whatever, or you don't feel like it, you can do outdoor looking product photography indoors where you have better control and you can get some great results without the stress of going outdoors. I will be doing some other ones, some different versions and showing you some different techniques that you can do to create that outdoor look indoors. So anyways, that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. So, till the next time.